Hello, welcome to Access, I'm Rob. Joining us today is Nicholas, who is Design Director on Star Wars Battlefront 2. How are you, Nicholas? I'm good, thank you. Thank you, and uh, I've just had a go on Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, some things have changed from last time. Uh, the first thing I noticed was uh, the, the battle point system and how there are no longer power-ups that you can pick up. So can you tell us a little bit about how the battle point system works and what was behind your decision to include it in the game? Yeah, so, so the battle point system is basically the new way for you to access the special characters in the game and the vehicles in the game. Um, what, we th what we were thinking was like, we, we want people to feel like whatever they do that benefits the team, also benefits their progression towards a hero, for example. So that's how the battle point system works. It essentially is whatever you do that benefits a team, be that you know taking out enemies, you know completing objectives, or supporting your teammates. Yeah. That all kind of accumulate these points. And what you can then do is in the spawn screen you have this list of additional characters like yes. uh, we've shown today, like the jump trooper or um, uh, the V-wing, or you know even heroes like Darth Maul and Rey yeah. and so on. And you just spend your battle points when the right time you know, arrives. Mm. And you're like, okay, now is a good time to go in as Maul because now we're in here and fighting and he's just gonna clear it up. And if you have those points you know, stored up, that's the time to use them. Yes. And then you can spawn in and start Maul. Uh, it's good that you mentioned that actually because I actually got, uh, I spent my points I think too early. Like I, I got one of the attack droids, I was playing as the separatists. Uh, and I was outside the throne room, and when I got inside the throne room after I died and had not very many battle points left, it was a lot harder just as a regular yeah. droid trooper to have as much of an effect on the battlefield. So I guess spending your battle points and choosing when to spend them is going to become quite a, a tactical decision as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think if you see people who, who kind of who get the system and start to really think in battle yeah. points, you can see them kind of storing them up to create this B2 attack droid attack on the palace at the right time yeah. and you can see strategies like that which is really cool to see. And uh, we've also got classes as well, um, could you give us a brief rundown of each of the classes that are available and what they give to the battle? Yeah sure, um, we have four classes, um, the, um, the first one is assault yeah. uh, which is you know your, your kind of run and gun trooper, very, uh, very agile, very, uh, very good at flanking, yes. going very aggressive. Uh, but you also have the, the kind of opposite of that, the heavy, which is very defensive, very strong, very powerful, can really kind of, you know, hold a, p a position on the map. Uh, and then you have the specialist, which is like your snipery type, kind of pick your targets, yeah. long range kind of person. And then uh, the final one is the officer, which is um, the, the supporter, the, the one that, that buffs the teammates, yeah. that provides uh, like um, turret support and so on. It's a, re it's a really good class to play if you are more of a supported player that, mm. that's not super comfortable with like yeah. doing headshots all day yeah, yeah, or yeah. something like that. Uh, so th those are the classes that, we're, uh, that we have in Battlefront. Awesome. And there was also a really cool system that I noticed when I was uh, respawning and going back into battle. Everyone else who was respawning at the same time became part of like a, a deployment squad, and I got like a, a full deployment squad, and that kind of. Uh, could you just give us uh, a rundown on how that works and the, how that can give you an advantage when you're respawning at the same time as other people? Yeah, uh, th that's a, I think a really cool feature that we have, yeah. which is well, first of all, you can always you know party up with a friend and yeah. play together, but also on top of that, you have this dynamic spawn system, which basically means that when you spawn in, you enter this. Um, this spawn room, if you will, yeah. which populates with other players dynamically. And you become a, a dynamic squad, so to speak. So when you spawn in together with these people, they get marked and if you play together with them, you get bonuses and benefits. Right? So this is a way for you to like, if you spawn in and you see, okay, uh, we're now filling up with, let's say, only assaults, which can happen. Then you yeah. can just quickly switch, like, okay, we need, a, we need an officer here to support this group. So you can create these these player groups, these teams, on the fly, in the game, to play strategically and mm -hmm. team play together. And one of the most exciting things, obviously, about the game, especially for Star Wars fans, is the fact that we've got uh, areas and characters and battles from all across the Star Wars saga, from the prequels to the, to the new films that are coming out now. Um, could you give us a little rundown of you know, how exciting is that to have, for instance, Rey and Darth Maul and Han Solo like in, in, the, in the same kind of battle uh, together? Yeah, that's, that's actually super cool, I think, having not only you know, all trilogies yeah. represented in, multiplayer, uh, in the multiplayer sandbox, but also, like you said, the ability to have those kind of fantasy fights, if you will, yeah. take place. Like, you know, when, when I was a kid playing with my, you know, you know, like little Star Wars figures, yeah. I was always like, yeah, what would happen if like, Darth Vader would fight 
you know, Han Solo, for example. Yeah. Uh, and here you can you can do that. You can see like Ray fighting Darth Maul, for yeah. example. Who wouldn't want to do that? Like, yeah. Uh, and that's that's really one of the cool things that the big kind of multiplayer sandbox brings uh, when you play Battlefront. And could you give us a little uh, rundown of how the, the hero system works? Um, so in the match that I've just played, um, we had some people running around as Darth Maul, some people running around as Rey. You know, how do we get to play as those characters and what are they able to do? Yeah, so the heroes are actually available uh, through the battle point systems mm -hmm. all the time when you, play, yeah. when you play this mode, the Galactic Assault mode. Uh, and one thing that's... Um, that's really cool is that you can you can be very strategic with how you use the battle points. Yeah. Uh, and one thing that's perhaps not immediately visible when you look at what we're presenting today, but that's actually there is the whole class idea, the class thinking, also applies to heroes in a way. Because in the first game, they were very powerful. They were like a boss character. Yes. But in this game, they have their strengths and weaknesses. You know, mm. you have to actually play them in the right way, in the smart way, and you can of course customize that as well to kind yes. of fit them to your playstyle. And that's something that brings more depth, I think, to the hero gameplay this time around. And just to wrap up, it was mentioned in the presentation before we played that Star Wars Battlefront 2 is, is the most ambitious game you've made. I mean, the, the first one was very ambitious, had, you know, really felt and looked and sounded like Star Wars. You know, how are you pushing all of that forward for Star Wars Battlefront 2? Why is it the most ambitious game you've made? Yeah, it's it's... You know, it, it sounds like a hype statement, of course, and, yeah. and so on, but it, it's actually, you know, the game we're making is huge. Yeah. I mean, like we said, it's it's got a full single-player campaign, mm. it's got all the trilogies in, in multiplayer, it has skirmish co-op, it has space battles as well, which we're going to talk more about at a later date. Yes. Uh, and it has a fully revamped, you know, uh, progression system, customization system, a much deeper team play, t uh, deeper gunplay, and, and all that stuff. So, um, it... It's, it's no understatement to say that this is yeah. immensely ambitious and we're working like you know, crazy to, to get it out uh, uh, you know, uh, and get it final for, for sure. November. And obviously The Last Jedi is coming out around about the same time, just after Star Wars Battlefront 2 emerges. Are you able to tell us anything about what we can expect uh, content-wise from The Last Jedi? Are we going to be seeing anything from that film make an appearance in Battlefront 2? Yeah, I can give you a, a little bit of it, yeah. you know, a, little, a little hint. Uh, you're, you're going to see um, that when the game launches, we're mm. uh, introducing our service, which is basically yeah. you will get a series of seasons uh, with different themes to them. And right. the first season is The Last Jedi. Fantastic. Yeah. So that's when you will get to play heroes like Finn and, and Phasma Amazing. and go to the planet Crate uh, and battle there. So um, that's, that's really exciting to see how that you know, coincides with the film. Awesome. I well, think that's going to be cool. Thank you so much for talking to us, Nicholas. The game is looking and playing amazing. That is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Let us know in the comments what you think of the game. And do stick with us as we have absolutely loads more coming up from E3.